Hey y'all, I'm Daryl Tucker, and you are Painting with Tuck. All right, what do we have today, y'all ask? As y'all can see, we have our buddy, Jack the Skellington. Jack the Skellington, what y'all think about him? He a little spooky looking, ain't he? <laughs> a little spooky looking. I'm doing them because somebody has said, hey, I really like Jack the Skeleton. Can you do that for me? That's a special request. I said, yes, I can. So uh, he's easy enough. So I said, let's go ahead and, and, uh, and draw him up so everybody can do him. All right. So what we need today, we need paint. This is the kind of paint that I use. All right. Nothing but a couple of bucks. I get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, we're going to be using red. We're going to use white. And we're going to use black. That's the only three colors we're gonna use. Uh, so put a squirt of that uh, on your paper plate, all right? So just maybe a quarter size, the size of a quarter of paint of each color on your plate. I'm gonna use brown. I'm just gonna use brown just to draw with. You all use a pencil. So whatever I draw in brown, you all draw with your pencil, okay? So make sure you have a pencil. Um, Make sure you have two brushes, okay? We're gonna have a flat brush and a pointy brush, okay? Flat brush and a pointy brush. Have you a piece of paper towel to dry your brushes off with? Have you some water, a cup of water? About that much water, you don't need a whole lot, okay? So you can dip that brush in there, clean the brush off in the water, Dry it off with the paper towel, okay? Jack the skeleton time, y'all. Let's make it happen. All right, so I am, grab your pencil, grab your pencil, and I will be drawing with my paint, and you all be drawing with your pencil. We're gonna start out with his head, okay? Let me tell you this, let me tell you this. I may go kinda fast, okay? If I go too fast for you, just press pause, okay? Press pause, catch up, press play again, all right? Press play again. All right, so with your pencil, we're gonna start with the head, okay? So it's just a round circle. Round circle, up here at the top. Make it a pretty good sized circle, okay? All right, all right. How about it? Y'all see that? Pretty good sized circle. And then we're gonna do the neck. He has a long skinny neck. So it's just, and it's kind of tilted. It's not straight up and down, it's tilted. So I'm starting on one side here and I'm gonna tilt it, bring it over to the right just a little bit as I go down. Same thing over here. And bring it to the right. So he doesn't have a fat neck, it's just like a a thin neck, okay? And then he has a bat bow tie. So to make the bat head, it's pretty much a triangle, y'all. So make you a triangle shape, upside down triangle, upside down triangle, y'all. Triangle shape, just like that. All right? And then for the bat wings, we're going to draw straight out almost to the end of the page. We're gonna bring it back in. We're making points, making three points. We're gonna bring it back out. That went off the page. That's fine. Bring it back out. We're making points. Bring it back out. Okay. And then we're gonna finally meet up with this point from the bat head. So start the bat head and go down and meet up with that point. Okay, same thing on the other side. So you're gonna go up a little bit, make a point. All right, then we make a middle point. Okay, then make one pointing down and then bring it back up to the bat head. Bring it back up to the head. There we go. 
There we go. I know I'm going fast. I know I'm going too fast for you. Press pause. Press pause. And then press play when you catch back up and we'll be at the same spot. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do the uh, his eyes, okay? So his eyes are going to be closer to the top of his head. So we're going to have one circle here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, another circle, alright, we're going to do two dots for his nose, so we're going to do a dot here, and kind of curve it, take it to the side just a little bit on each side, okay, so we're going to the side, going to the side. Now what we're going to do his mouth. So his mouth is crooked. It's not just a straight line. It's kind of swervy. It's kind of swervy as you go around his face. So we're going to start up here by his eye. And we're going to kind of go down and up and down and up. You see what I'm doing? And up. See how it's swervy. It's not just a straight line, okay? So make it real swervy, okay? What else do we need to do? Let's do his eyebrow. All right, so he don't have an eyebrow. It's his bone. <laughs> let's do his bone in his head. It looks like an eyebrow. So it's up, oh, up to there. And the same thing on the other side. Up to there. Okay. All right, all right. Then we can do the points of the uh, bats, of the bat ears, okay? So we got one triangle here, and we got one triangle here on both sides. All right, now I kind of got to wait for my um, paint to dry because I'm going to paint over it. Like you can paint over your pencil marks. I'm about to clean off my brush. You can paint, paint over your uh, pencil marks because we're going to paint in white the face but we're gonna do the background first you see my background is red okay you can do red you can do gray no I don't do gray I wouldn't do gray just because he has a gray tie and it kind of blend in so you can do red black any other color but gray <laughs> gray and white <laughs> you can do any color but gray and white but um, I did red and I'm gonna do red again okay so grab your color Yellow, red, white, green, purple, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do red. And I'm going to do the background while my brown is drying. <laughs> you shouldn't have any paint on yours yet unless you're doing the background. But my brown is my pencil. So I'm going to go around my object, which is old Jack. I'm going around Jack with my red because that's my background. Down his neck. Okay. All right, we're going to do the other side. Go around your object. Work around your object. Remember y'all, if I'm going too fast, what you supposed to do? Press pause, press pause and press play when you catch up, okay? All right. All right, let's go around its tie. Using the flat brush, y'all. I'm not using the pointy brush because we use the flat brush because it takes up more space, okay? So make sure you use the, use the flat brush. They fixing something in the building, so that's why you're hearing the noise. Uh, drill. They use 
in the drill, y'all. So it may be a little loud in here. That's all right. Y'all can see what I'm doing. So going around the tie, the back tie, which is a cool tie. Have you ever seen a back tie? I've never seen a back tie before. All right. Keep going. Y'all might be saying, Tuck, you going too fast. <laughs> what you need to do? What you need to do if Tuck's going too fast, y'all? Press pause. Press pause and press play when you're ready. When you're caught up. All right, so now I painted all the way around my object. Now I can just put the red everywhere else, okay, except for <laughs> my object. So it makes it easier when you go around your object first. Then you can just paint the rest of the background. And not worry about hitting your object. All right. All right. Uh-oh. Y'all see me dipping my white. What's wrong with me? Now I got to clean my brush out again. I supposed to dip in my red, not my white. Now I made pink. <laughs> All right, cleaning my brush out again, so I can go back to my red and not mess it up. All right. finished with the background almost finished with the background y'all All right, got the background done, got the background done. Now, y'all keep going. If y'all ain't finished, y'all keep going. Press pause, press pause, cause I'ma keep, I'ma keep going too, okay? So press pause, and when you're ready to catch up, when you all caught up, press play again. Now, I clean my brush out in my water. Clean my brush out in my water. Use my paper towel to dry it off. I'ma dip into the white, okay? Dipping into the white, and I'm going to go over his head white, okay? Not his eyeballs, but everything else. Everything else. Go around his eyes. Okay. There we go. You can go over your lines, okay? You can go over your pencil marks. Not gonna hurt anything. You don't wanna go into your background though because the background color will blend into your white. So make sure you don't hit that. Don't hit like me, I can't hit my red. So stay in the line so you don't hit your background color. And it looks like I hit a little bit of my red. <laughs> a little bit, not too much. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take it down the neck. Take the white down the neck. 
right above the bat head. The bat tie, like a bow tie, the bat tie. All right, so we got that done. Now, we are going to make gray. Going to make gray. I got a dark gray on here. Let me show it to you. You see how I have shadow in, in underneath his eye and over his uh, eyebrow, a dark gray? It doesn't have to be that dark, okay? It doesn't have to be that dark. I'm going to make it a little lighter on this one, but it doesn't have to be that dark. All right, can if you want it to be, because it's your picture. <laughs> but I'm going to make it a little lighter. I'm going to make it a little lighter. So how you make gray, you say? Is it the red and white? Nope, <laughs> it's the black and white, okay? Black and white, just a dip, just a dip of the black and go on the edge of your white and stir it up. Stir it up until you get the color gray that you want. It don't have to be real dark, but just dark enough so you'll see a shadow, all right? So the shadow is going underneath the eye, just like that. Okay, and on a, and you can use your pointy brush for this, okay? I'm using my flat brush because I'm used to using it. And underneath this eye, so you're still going around the circle. It's still around the circle, so you got the circle. So go around the bottom of the circle and then come off the bottom of the circle. So let me show you. For both of them, you do the same thing. Let me bring it up a little closer. So this is the circle. This is the circle. So you're going to go under the circle, right right on the bottom of the circle, and then you can bring it off the circle right here. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. So under the circle, and then just bring it off the circle. You see how the circle keeps going, but you don't want to keep going with it. Just bring it off. All right? And now I'm going to do his mouth the same way. Just I'm going to follow his mouth with the gray. Follow his mouth with the gray. Okay, because this is just a shadow. All right, I'm gonna do the top of his eyebrow. I'm gonna do his eyebrow the same way. I'm gonna give it some gray shadow on both of them. Gray shadow. Okay, you see the shadows, y'all? All right, so y'all using y'all pointy brush for that, right? Unless you're able to use your flat brush, but I like, I can use my, my flat brush because I'm kind of used to working with it. Um, now, we're going to put that shadow, that same shadow, on his neck. Okay? Let me bring it back up for you. See how I have the shadow on his neck here? I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to do it over here. So right underneath his chin, just going to go down just a little bit. But on this side, we're going to go down a little farther. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Now, we're going to make a darker gray and we're going to uh paint the bat tie. The bat tie. The bow tie, bat tie. All right. So, a little more black in your edge of your white. And we're going to make a darker gray a little darker gray and we're gonna uh, paint out the, the back tie y'all so I'm gonna start with his face paint his triangle you can do that with the flat brush if you want paint the triangle and then paint his wings Paint his wings. All right. All right. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, 
Now I'm going to do his other wing. Y'all see? Or, no, I'm not in the way, am I? Okay. I'm using the flat brush, y'all. Because it takes up more area. Okay. So we painted both the wings. And we painted um, his head. Now let's do his ears, okay? The bat ears, the two little triangles. One right here, and one right here. All right. All right, we moving right along. We are moving right along. If you're not caught up with me, press pause. Press pause, catch up. Press pause, catch up, then press play. And we'll be at the same spot. All right, I'm cleaning out my brush because I'm about to use black. Using the flat brush, because I'm gonna do his eyeballs, and he has a big eyeball, eye sockets, <laughs> not ball. He ain't got no eyeballs, he's a skull. He's a, it's just a skull, ain't it? So, let's do his eye sockets. I'm gonna do this one over here. And then I'm going to do one on the other side. All right, we got his eye sockets in there. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm going to use my smaller brush. So I'm going to use my pointy brush now, okay? I don't have a pony brush, I just got a smaller flat brush, but <laughs> I can make it work. So, use your pony brush, and we're going to paint his eye, where his eye brow would be, which is the top of his socket. So we're going to paint that there, like that. So you start down, and you go, oh, just go on the top of the shape of his eye, that's it. Top of the shape of his eye, and let me show you the other side. Same thing, I'll bring it up so you can see closer. So we're gonna do the top of the shape of his other eye. So it's here and back down. Okay. Got a little red in that, but that's okay. That's all right. Now, let's do his mouth. So right in the middle of where we did the squiggly line, we're gonna do his mouth. Okay. All right, all right. And we're going to do his two holes in his head. Right here and right there. You see how they're slanted? They're not straight down. I got them slanted. Okay. Now we're going to put the stitches. The stitches in his mouth. So, let's see where we're at. So, you got a stitch here. Just kind of make it up. You don't have to look to see where they are. I have some stitches longer than the other stitches. You see what I'm doing? Some stitches longer than the other. All right. Okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now I'm going to circle his whole head. Circle his whole head. Uh-oh, had too much white right there or something. So I'm just going around his head is what I'm doing, y'all. Going around his head with black. Trim it, trim it up. Okay, go around. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm going to go down his neck. Go down his neck. On both sides. All right. Now, let's go ahead and give the bat his eyes, okay? He had two eyes. And there's something like... There's something like his, like uh, Jack's nose. They're slanted. Just two slanted eyes there. Okay, let's go around his head with the black. Outline his head. Okay, and then we can outline his ears. I'll make sure I got it lined up so y'all can see. Outline one ear, outline the other ear, and then what we got, the wings. Let's outline his wings. Go one over here. Okay. All right, we're almost there. If I'm going too fast, press pause and start me over when you get to where I am. All right. Got that outline. Now, the other wing. Okay. Gotta make sure my camera's lined up so you can see it. Boom. There we go, y'all. There we go. Big brother and little brother Jack. <laughs> Big brother and little brother Jack. We got Jack Jr. and Jack Sr. Well, both of them the same size. I think we got twin Jacks, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, thank you all for participating. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends and we can do more uh, painting with Tuck, all right? You all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.